information by Brother Mark and all. Let us pray together. Lord Jesus, we just want to pause and say we love you. We want to thank you for this very special occasion. We thank you for this school. Lord, we appreciate the teachers, administration, and all the faculty. We thank you for all the parents and family and friends that are here tonight. But Lord, we're here to honor these seniors. We appreciate them, Lord. We love them. We ask your richest blessings on them. Lord, we pray that they would be healthy. We pray that they would be happy. We pray also, Lord, that they would be holy, that they would love Jesus. We pray that they would find the abundant life that you came to give, the eternal life that you give to those who believe in you. So, Lord, we pray that these graduates tonight would make the right choices and decisions in life. Lord, give them wisdom. Give them understanding. Give them patience. Give them the ability to stay close to you and to, to love you with all their hearts. Lord, we ask a special prayer, a special blessing on the, this special time tonight. We ask, Lord, that in all things you get the glory and praise. Lord, this is your time. In your name, amen. 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 This time tonight, we'll have a welcome by Miss Hannah. Welcome parents, family, faculty, school board, friends, and fellow classmates to the 2005 commencement exercises. For the past 13 years, we have walked down these halls together, we have laughed and cried, shared memories together, and now, tonight, our lives will forever change. This evening marks the last time that we will, as a group, share in celebrating our accomplishments. Tonight, we dedicate this ceremony to a special friend, a fellow classmate whose smile for many years was able to brighten everyone's day. His special friend is Ashley Nicole Joyner. Ashley, we love you and we will miss you. To all the faculty and staff, thank you for giving us inspiration, encouragement, and companionship that has helped us to make it to this very moment. We will never forget you and all that you have done.
In the years past, not this year or anything, I can remember waking up and just hating the thought of going to school, so I'd play sick and try to skip. I'll have to give some credit to the parents out there. Somehow you always know the real thing from the fake. Without you, there will be a huge decrease in school attendance. Also, parents are great supporters, or I know mine are. All those times I've had too many irons in the fire, they've been there faithfully to pull out a few and help me along. There are also the ones that have always told me that I could be anything I wanted to be if I just tried. Well, they were right. I know that if I try my hardest and never give up, I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. I guess what I'm trying to say is that the past 12 years have meant more to me than you all will ever know. You have each played a special part in my life, and there aren't enough words to describe how much I love you all. With the potential I see sitting before me, I know I will hear great things happening in the future. A new CEO of Pepsi, a couple of nurses, two English teachers, and lots more. I want to wish you all the best of luck and know that I'm extremely proud of what we've become. May God bless you all in the future and never forget our secret little treasure in the world, Pine Grove. Salute to Tony Dress by Miss uh, Oliver Jones. All through high school, I have always said the famous quote, I am so ready to graduate. Now, the day I have been waiting for is here and quickly coming to an end. It's so ironic, though, because I kept telling myself, Audra, you have to write your speech. So quit putting it off. Then I realized the reason I kept putting it off was because I wasn't ready for this day. I will have to tell all the people I care so much about goodbye. Words can't describe how hard this is for me. The other day, as I was sitting on my back porch, all the memories I've had with each of you flashed before me. All the laughter and tears of sadness and happiness were shared together. As I look back, I know that none of this would be possible if it wasn't for my Lord and Savior, and I thank him every day for how he has blessed me with. He allowed my parents to have a child they never thought they would have. My parents play a huge role in my life. They have always led me down the right path and picked me up when I stumbled. It is truly an honor to have them both sitting here tonight carrying me through this to my mother. You're not only my mother, but an angel sent from God to give me wings and allow me to reach beyond measures. Two main characteristics that shine through you are your strength and determination. The way you always seem, the way to turn something negative into something positive inspires not only me, but everyone around you. You have always been my light when I was blinded and my feet when I couldn't stand. I love you very much and I thank you for all you've done today. Well, what can I say? Everyone has always told me you're just like your daddy. <laughs> They're right, but I wouldn't change a thing. Your uniqueness has touched my heart in more ways than one. All the memories of us drinking coffee on the way to work, getting up cows on the farm, and me falling asleep on your belly when I was little will never be erased. You say all the time, I never give you kisses and love on you, like I used to. I may not do that, but one thing I will always do is love you, and I will always be your little A. To my family, throughout my life, my family has supported me fully. When I ever needed any of them, they came running with open arms. They have always taught me to stand up for myself and do what I know is pleasing to the Lord. It makes me feel more secure knowing that no matter what I do or the path I choose, they will be behind me all the way. I love each one of you very much. To Mr. Witt and faculty, going to Pine Grove is an experience within itself. It may be small, but the love and kindness make it seem bigger than ever. During my years spent here, I have not only learned the material handed to me, but I have learned valuable lifelong lessons. Without your help and guidance, I wouldn't even be standing here now. And with this opportunity, I want to thank you for your hard work and dedication. To my classmates, I have so much.
much to say, but if you spent in time, I feel speechless. As a whole, you are my classmates, but you have become my friends. Without my friends, I don't know how I would have made it. This year especially, I feel that we have grown closer. Though we all have different outlooks on life, we all still look back at where it all started. If you stop and think about it, life is like a puzzle, and the people around you are the pieces. As we continue down the road of life, our puzzle pieces will eventually come together. Here tonight, I will have to say goodbye, but never will I say goodbye to you in my heart. As I sat down to write this speech, I tried to think of something beautifully poetic that I could compare high school to, but nothing seemed to fit. After much thought and even more procrastination, I finally came up with an idea that goes completely against my pessimistic nature. A fairy tale. A fairy tale. How simple and childlike, yet so fitting for the occasion. After you hear my story, I'm sure that even the most pessimistic person would agree. Once upon a time, what seems like not so long ago, a young girl was told that she would have to travel to the faraway land of Pine Grove. She was frightened at the thought of leaving what she knew as home, but her parents told her that God wanted them to move, and that was all that she needed to know. One thing that I learned at a young age is that any journey made with God, no matter how far the distance, is well worth the trip. It doesn't matter how far you stray from the course, run ahead, or lag behind. You can always look by your side, and he'll be right there waiting for you. My prayer is that each of us here tonight would not take a step into the future without first taking God by the hand. Even though the young girl had gone on her side, it was still scary knowing that her parents could not come to school with her. She wondered who would take care of her and teach her the things she needed to know. Little did she realize that God had already thought of that and had sent people called teachers to help her along the way. I know that many times teachers feel overworked, underappreciated, and underpaid, but I hope that seeing each of us sitting down here tonight makes all the hard work seem more than worth it. You are the part of the reason that we have come this far, and we go out into the world with confidence, knowing that you have prepared us for the challenges that lie ahead. When people ask me why I want to become a teacher, the quote by Henry Brooks Adams comes to mind. A teacher affects eternity. He can never tell where his influence stops. My answer is that I want to teach so that I can change the world like you have changed mine. As the young girl set off for school the first day, she felt very alone. Who would she talk to or have fun and play with? These thoughts made her very sad until she got to school and saw other kids her own age. She realized that they probably felt the same way she did and that maybe they could help one another to not be as scared. It amazes me how the size of our class has decreased over the years. With each loss, however, I seem to gain more and more appreciation for those who remain. We all may roll our eyes when adults say high school is supposed to be the best years of your life, but I can't think of many moments I've enjoyed more than those spent having fun with my friends here at Pine Grove. We have laughed, cried, and fought until we were blue in the face, but just when we thought we weren't going to make it, we looked back and saw another bridge we had crossed without even knowing it. I cherish Pine Grove more than anywhere else in the world because it is the place that brought us all together. God has blessed me with a wonderful group of friends, and because he knew that I would have to leave someday, he also gave me a world of wonderful memories to take with me. As the young girl got older, she began to face more obstacles than ever before. Her life wasn't more difficult than anyone else's, but it still seemed like it would help to have someone beside her to help handle the problems life threw her way. As always, God heard her prayer and sent a knight in shining armor to help her slay the dragon she had struggled with before. The last place I expected to find my Prince Charming was study hall, but my life changed forever when I sat down in the library across from Alan Conley. I soon discovered that we were opposites in almost every way, but only now do I realize that that's a good thing because we complete one another. Everything I lack as a human being, I find in Alan. 
For when I am weak, I find strength in him. When I am sad or discouraged, he brings a smile back to my face. When I am angry, he reminds me how to love again, and I love him all the more for it. I am eternally grateful for the fact that I will be spending the rest of my life with the best person I know. I couldn't find room to fit my parents into this story because they have been here since the beginning. I have to say that I don't know why God gave me the parents he did because I do not deserve them. They worked tirelessly for my family, the church, the community, and God without asking for a thing in return. I owe them my life, my gratitude, and all my love, and I just hope that they are half as proud of me as I am of them. Although I've come to the end of my story, I am happy to say that this is not the end of the journey for any of us. There are still many more fairy tales out there waiting to unfold if we only give them a chance. There is more joy to be experienced and more trials to face, but if we allow God to write the story, I know that we'll all live happily ever after. Rebecca Leanne Robbins. Rebecca's a valedictorian, a star student. She's received a valedictorian scholarship to Northeast Mississippi Community College, a ACT Performance Scholarship to Northeast, and an Ashton Furniture Industry Scholarship. Celise Nicole Gibbons. Nicole is a salutatorian. She's received a salutatorian scholarship to Northeast, a salutatorian scholarship to ICC, Leadership Special Achievement Scholarship to ICC and an ACT Performance Scholarship to Northeast. Holly Ruth Burks. Matthew Zane Bryan. Brandy Nicole Billingsley. Samantha Nicole Brown. Samantha has received the Hollis Hatcher Scholarship to Northeast Mississippi Community College. Rhonda Michelle Burchett. <laughs> Hannah Carol Hurt. Audra Lynn Jones. Audra is the salutatorian. She's received a salutatorian scholarship to Northeast, a salutatorian scholarship to ICC, and a leadership special achievement scholarship to ICC. Kimberly Lane Hefner. Joshua Wilburn Hall. Bethany Janelle Greer. Robert Caleb Fryer. Dana Marie Foster. Natasha Lynn Garrison. Jamie Yvonne Hall. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Harmon. Ashley has received the EJ Coates Scholarship to Northeast Mississippi Community College. Amy Jacqueline Hill. Amber Brooke Key. Hope Celeste Jumper. J. 
Justin Lane Johnson. Whitney Elizabeth Irvin. Kayla Michelle Falcom. Kayla has received a Career Incentive Leadership Scholarship to ICC. Terry Matthew Hopkins. Amber Nicole Johnson. Amber has received an ACT Performance Scholarship to MSU, the NAAE Future Ag Teacher Scholarship, the Dodge Division Diamond Chrysler Corporation Fund Scholarship, Mississippi FFA Mid-South Scholarship, and the Tippecanoe County Alumni Chapter Scholarship to Mississippi State. Haley Cecile Jumper. Daniel Lee Kennedy. and a merit scholarship to Blue Mountain College. Shana Lynn Michael. Shana has received the EJ Coates Scholarship from Northeast Mississippi Community College. April Ann Moore. Ashley Renee Page. Emily Shea Robbins. Emily has received a Tiger Dancer Scholarship to Northeast and a Career Incentive Leadership Scholarship to ICC. Stacy LeBeau Robinson. Angela Joyce Woman. Justin Wade Vick. <laughs> Billy Ray Thompson. <laughs> Timothy Shea Robinson. <laughs> Ashley Brooks Scroop. Emily Brooke Tyler. Emily has received an academic leadership scholarship to ICC. Jeffrey Allen Weaver. And Carl LeVon Witt Jr. CJ has received an ACT Performance Scholarship to Northeast and an ACT Regular and Senior Leadership Scholarship to ICC. Please stand for the benediction of my brother Titus Tyler. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just want to thank you for the just
just a wonderful privilege of being able to be gathered here together tonight. We thank you for this wonderful, precious young people, Father. Lord, for this school, for the entire faculty. Father, the love and support that these parents show these kids, dear God. And Father, in the days that lie ahead, I just pray you bless these young people abundantly, Father, and just guide their every path. And Lord, may in all their lives, Father, may Jesus always be first. Thank you again in Jesus' name. Come on, come on. 